All right, so in today's video, I got a topic submission from Soup Trap on Twitter. They said, Hey, Maury, I'm Nama, LOL, but like, there's this video I came across that introduces a 24 year old man dating or even married to a 61 year old woman. Yeah, I know it's pretty weird, but I'll send you the video of it. And in this video, it is titled, My Girlfriend is Old Enough to Be My Grandmother. Love, don't judge. Yikes. Listen, man, I know these uh, are both grown adults. They can do whatever they want, but like, this ain't it, bro. She's looking like she could be a great grandmother. I mean, the dude is literally the same age as me. I don't know what you want to do with a 61 year old woman. Like, bro, you can't start a family with her. She probably don't have enough energy to keep up with you. In the next 10 years, she might be needing to use a walker. Like, bro, what is going on here? Now, according to this article, the boyfriend's name is Quran. I guess like the Islamic Bible. Muslims are going to be mad about that one. And the girlfriend's name is Cheryl. And for some reason, they don't want to reveal her age right now. Kind of weird. But according to this article, Quran had some hurtful experiences early on in life that that would affect his well-being well into adolescence not only were there troubles at home but he also faced difficulties in school classmates bullied quran and lowered his self-esteem at a young age but that wasn't all things were only made worse by relationships he had at home while quran struggled with school bullies he didn't have anyone to turn to outside of the school either but by the time he turned 15 he finally found the perfect escape a job at Dairy Queen. Oh my god. Sure enough, the position at his local Dairy Queen brought newfound joy into Quran's life. The 15 year old was surrounded by several cool co workers, made some money, and built a routine for himself outside of a school. But just when things were looking up, things took a sudden turn. Quran had a nice manager whose mom, Cheryl, sometimes stopped by the ice cream joint. She enjoyed coming into the local store. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I know where this is heading. It's like the beginning of a porno. They say she enjoyed coming into the local store and chatting a bit with the employees as well as some of the regular customers. Little did he know she was going to turn his world upside down. And at the age of 15, that seems very predatory, but the article goes on to say that they became friends. And as time continued to pass, a special friendship between Quran, now 23, and Cheryl, 60, blossomed and keep in mind cheryl was like 52 when quran was like 15 years old at that dairy queen so yeah and here as you can see i am on cheryl's tiktok page you know she looks like the type of woman that uh never matured fully into adulthood like she's still stuck in her early 20s despite her body changing with time her mind surely didn't and to be honest a woman who's in her mid to late 60s on tiktok doing stuff like this is really cringe to me not gonna lie i, I just want to know how her, her family feels about this like she was probably the kind of rebellion type in her family when she was a younger girl like she never listened to her father or her mother and she said leave me the fuck alone i can do whatever i want don't tell me what to do my life will be good and then it just ends up ending like this where she's having to get with a 24 year old guy because the men around her age don't want anything to do with her and here i'm on the boyfriend's page king quran now he's the famous one with two million followers and as you can see you know they have their little tiktoks on this page one says when y'all both realize the fight y'all had was dumb at the same time and they proceed to hug oh that's that's cute that's cute and then they proceed to Ugh. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, yeah, let me get off that. Like, my boy out here, he really kissing a great grandma. Like, I, I never thought I'd see something like this. Like, I always knew that some guys, you know, when I was in high school, had fetishes for, like, cougars and older women in their, you know, their 30s and sometimes 40s or pushing their 50s. But this is, nah, this is different. I, I don't even know, what do you call this? This ain't a cougar, this is like a mummy. He said, you a sick motherfucker if you eat grandma kitty. And then he proceeds to do this. <coughs> Like, bro, this man is down bad. And he's joking about it because he knows her kitty is probably like four decades over its expiration date. Somebody said, bro, tasted the 1800s. Nah, that's no, bro. My mom, go get married and have kids. Me, gets wife with seven kids. What the f? So this woman already has seven kids. Like, she been ran through a dozen different times by her ex-husband, probably. Like, had a whole ass litter. And now this man thinks it's cute to become the stepfather of kids who are, like, ten years older than him. All her children are probably pushing their 40s, and here you are trying to smash. 
nah bro that's foul like you see the way she just looked at him even she knows that his tongue should not be all up in her wrinkles and crevices like this man is trying to excavate the grand canyon or something and the dude's not a bad looking guy i'm pretty sure he can get a girlfriend around his age or younger i don't know why he is out here with an ancient relic like i'm pretty sure this is some kind of fetish this is what that is a fetish and it's probably a fetish on her side too but it wouldn't be labeled as a fetish if she were a man and he were a girl he would be labeled as a predator and she would be labeled as a victim bro can you imagine you see the way he's lifting her up right now can you imagine him just dropping her and her breaking her hip like you should not be doing this to this old ass lady what are you doing bro this is irresp this is like senior citizen abuse right here like there's child abuse and then there's senior citizen abuse and this is that but it is kind of impressive for a woman who's like 65 years old to be doing this midair going down and coming back up like i'm a i'm honestly surprised a lot of girls my age probably would go down and just collapse and break their back TikTok. but many people were quick to judge their 37 year age gap they call her a zombie the walking dead how can you date your grandma damn the internet really has no chill my very first job her son was my boss what? <laughs> she will always come up there and get food and speak to everyone there Bruh. Bro. What the fuck did I do? When we first start making TikToks, we'd probably see each other once a week or twice a week. We opened up to each other, we got closer. I asked her out and I caught feelings first. <laughs> she gave me this dream. I woke up and I was just aroused and I told her about it. Nah, that's wild, bro. Buddy had a wet dream about her, woke up aroused, called her on the phone and told her about it. And she actually had no issues with it. Like, could you imagine every guy starting to do that now to girls that they had crushes on? Like a whole bunch of restraining orders and court orders would be filed against these men for even trying to do some bullshit like that. And who gets the worst comments of between two? Me. Sometimes they make me cry. I can't handle some of it. A lot of this stuff is so hurtful. My self-esteem, everything. It's not a good feeling at all. All right, so that makes me feel bad. We're all human beings. We all have emotions, you know, and if she's out here truly getting harassed because of this relationship, like actually getting harassed and get not something that's good, which is dating someone who's like half a century younger than you, then you should have seen this coming. Like there's nothing that you can offer this young man of value that can benefit him in life. Like at this point in time, you're actually a detriment to his overall well-being. Instead of him focusing on his goals or his purposes or actually being with a girl around his age or younger, you're out here wasting his time knowing full well that one day this relationship will come to an end and he will forever look like a clown on the internet for having been with you he's gonna be known as the granny fucker the mummy fucker people are gonna be saying hide your kids hide your wives and hide your grandmas because this weirdo is out here prowling in the streets looking for her i mean it's a very weird time to be alive and witnessing this but i am not surprised now with an updated video that was posted this year this couple is actually thinking about having a baby like they say they want a baby which isn't even possible like her eggs are all nuked they're dried up they're fried they're never coming back and you on the other hand probably wouldn't even make a good father you're it seems like you have a lot of growing up to do a lot of maturing i don't think you should be bringing a child into the world under these terms of you clearly having a grandma 